Hey guys, Skinny here, and today I'm going to be showing you a build on Blight that uses the Nemesis perk Hysteria. Uh, I had this build sort of recommended to me when I was watching Jay's podcast a, a few weeks ago. Someone on there uh, said they use Hysteria on Blight and it's really effective, and I thought, alright, I'll I'll, uh, I'll try this uh, perk out, see how it works. For those of you who don't know or couldn't figure it out, I used to main Blight. Uh, I stopped for reasons that I get into in this video. Uh, I do want to apologise, this video does kind of get a bit ranty and towards the end it does get a bit long because the last two survivors decided they were going to hide in lockers for half an hour just to get one head on. But the main focus of the video is this build and my reasonings to why I don't play Blight anymore for those of you who are wondering why there's been nothing but Trickster for the past like six videos or something. Uh, but yeah, I'll get into all that in the actual video. Uh, I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Oh god. Swamp maps with blight. AKA goodbye to using your power. Oh, I feel robbed. Oh, no collision. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is why I don't play this fucking killer anymore. I'm so sick of everything being covered in fucking grease. Oh, including Shaq, apparently. Oh, I just... I just won't use my power. I can't be bothered. There's no point. This loop's diabolical. <laughs> this, I hate this tree loop. Unfortunately, Kate doesn't know how to run it, so... Someone's running around the map trying to sabo every hook in existence. It's this Meg that's running around Sabo and everything. You've got a loop, Nancy doesn't, so... Nancy's also still... oblivious. There's nothing here for you. Dead hard? No. Yeah, I'll, so pretty much what I want to say, since I'm on a swamp map and it highlights exactly why, I don't play a Blight anymore and I've stopped maining him because I'm sick of the devs refusing to do anything about his collision. Ba back when he first came out, like PTB Blight, his collision was awful and you'd bounce off everything. Then when they brought him out to live servers, they'd fixed it and like, yeah, there were a few things you wouldn't bounce off of at all, but it was consistent with what would and wouldn't bounce. Now... He just decides not to bounce off certain things, but then will off other things. It makes zero sense. Like, and by the way, this is after they quote unquote fixed it. Like they fixed it on the pit on a different on a different PTB, and it actually worked. You would literally bounce off of everything with perfect collision, it like rarely ever faulting. But then for some reason, when they brought that update to live. They broke it again. Even worse than it was before. Because now it doesn't work at all, ever. It, it barely ever works. Like, some maps like this that used to be, like, notoriously iffy, but at least would work every now and then, now just don't work at all. It's ridiculous. So I've given up maining him, because every match would just be the same thing of... fucking... playing... 
losing hits and downs because of fucking bad collision, getting mad because of it. So I've just given up. So I'm sorry to anyone who wanted to watch me for Blight content because I've refused to play this killer pretty much ever anymore. I do miss playing him because he is fun to play. It's just the fact that the devs don't care remotely about his, his power not working. So I've just given up with him. I'm playing him for this video because I heard about this build getting recommended so I wanted to try it. But I basically won't ever play Blight again. Until the devs actually do something about his collision. That being said, the build is actually working quite well. I've had quite a lot of times where I've been able to hit someone and then get away with using the Oblivious stats effect on them later. Okay, I don't know how I'm not body blocking that, but fair enough. This mega's good at one thing and one thing only, and that's saboing hooks. Should be a drop off here. Oh. Like, what about this means I can't collide with it? Is it the angle? Is it the fucking way that it's curved? Is it the fact that I wasn't turned a specific way? It's just not consistent. Like, at least before, when it didn't work, you knew why. Like, it was consistent what object. It was angled trees. It was benches. It was, you know, it made sense. Now it just decides. Like, Shaq's the most annoying one. Shaq happens so often. Where... Like, sometimes Shaq will have collision. And you'll bounce off it like normal, as expected. And other times, it just doesn't. It just decides not to. It largely has a lot to do with the whole new tech that they introduced. Where you... You look down at a certain angle and it disables collision. And that's supposed to be a good thing. But, like, it's not clear how far looking down you need to be. To bug it out. So it's just stupid. I had to panic rush because my game completely froze. You also can't really 90 degree slam into walls anymore. It works every- it's another thing like Shaq where it will work sometimes, most of the time it won't though. Because they bugged out the angle. It, it, it... The thing that broke it was when they brought it from that PTB where they fixed it to live servers. They also added a new thing that wasn't on that PTB where they narrowed the collision but also made it taller. And that's what caused the whole, like, look down, don't slam thing, and also broke the collision completely. It's that. It, it basically, if they remove that thing where it's, like, it's more narrow, if they revert it back to the original hitbox where it's not narrow and tall, it would fix this collision. Well, they'll never do that. They think Blight's fully fixed, so they won't touch him. They're going to leave him for years. It'll be like Legion. They're just going to leave it for years and just not care. And then, like, years from now, when no one really cares about Blight anymore, because he's broken, uh, 
that's when they'll fix it. The thing that annoys me the most, though, is the fact that the more broken Blight has got, the more people started to play him. Like, now he's everywhere and everyone hates him because he's considered a top three killer and shit. But he's in the worst state he's been in since launch. Like, he's never been worse. And yet somehow people love him now. And say he's the best and he's completely fixed. All because a couple people hated the fact that his height was a problem. So as soon as that got fixed, everyone loved it. I'm genuinely amazed I haven't encountered the bug yet where your power just turns off and you have to M1 to get it back. Because that's another bug that's still in the game that the devs haven't bothered to fix. I know I'm ranting a lot about Blight being in a state, but it's because I used to main him and I actually liked him and now I, I just I can't stand to play him. So I've changed to Trickster, which is arguably a worse decision. But at least Trickster I find fun, and he works 90% of the time. And I don't just lose games because the dev said so. Yeah. I got this last game, but I'm going to do it again just for points. That bug still exists. That bug's existed since he came out. Will we touch it and address it? Nope. These guys are playing immersed. Oh, that pallet doesn't have collision this time. But there has been various games where I have actually collided with the pallet at that angle before. Again, another case of it just picking and choosing when it wants to work. I saw a bird over here. At least I think I did. I don't know what they're doing because they can't get they can't key out at Hatch. Hatch hasn't spawned yet. They need to get down to one gen for Hatch to spawn. So I don't know what they're doing. Besides playing immersed and being boring. This build's fun. Uh, to change topic, I've, I've tried to talk about the build, but I focus mostly on my hate with Blight right now. The build's fun. Hysteria. It, it's it's a weird perk. It, it, it kind of doesn't make much sense to me because it only procs when you injure someone, not when you down them, and then it only works on injured people. And I'm not quite sure if it affects the person you just injured. But it is fun. Corrupt and Lethal Pursuer are also good. They're, they're a great combo in general. I use them on Trickster, but they're great on Blight because you can be there before Lethal's even run out. I'm checking every random corner of the map now just to make sure these guys aren't hiding in some bush just waiting for me to find them. There's no gens with any more significant progress. All the ones that did have progress have regressed because I kicked them and they haven't been to touch them so...
This is one of the problems with this game, because all the power of the, how the match flows is in the fucking survivor's hands. If they want to sit and play Immerse for the rest of the game now and hide, I could be here for an hour, just waiting for them to show up. Because they're not doing gens. They're just sitting in corners. They're both dead on hook at four gens. They've lost. They can't physically win. And so because of that, they're throwing a, a tantrum and hiding now, just to be annoying. I'm not- I'm, I'm five seconds away from searching every locker. It won't work, they, they won't be in the lockers, but... It's literally- I've done a full lap of the outskirts now and I haven't seen them. And fuck this, I'm searching every locker. <sighs> really? So, she's- she's been sat in there for 20 minutes. Just waiting for me to come over so she could get a head on. Are you that sad? What is she doing? I even said to myself he's in that locker. So they've literally just been sat hiding in lockers for the past like 20 minutes just waiting for me to come over so they could get a head on. Because they knew they couldn't win the game. I'm tempted to give them a taste of their own medicine and just slug them until they bleed out now. Because they want to sit and delay, then I can delay. It's fine. But if I do that, I'll never find Meg because she'll just go and hide again for the, next, for the rest of the game. So I'm just going to hook him. Either she gets Hatch or I get her. Doesn't really make a difference. Ah yes, the inside of Shaq has no collision, but the outside does. The walls are still flat all the same, but you know. There we go. <sighs> Do I GG? Can you GG when people sit and play Immerse just because haha funny locker perk? Yeah. Dude thinks he's nice. Spends all game sub on hooks and sits in a locker for half an hour just to get one head on.